not new welcome back if you are then welcome to my channel sorry for the lack of videos i don't really think anyone cares so someone commented on my instagram post a few months ago telling me to do an updated makeup collection video and honestly it's not really that different from last year like i filmed one and uploaded one last year and yeah to be honest it didn't really change but i'm just gonna make an updated one just for the sake of it and i'm also gonna put in my skincare stuff just to spice it up my room is hella hot and i turned off the fan so that it's not loud but i'm dying today's video is again sponsored by duval so thank you again to duval they keep sending me stuff i'm not complaining so they sent me another one of their spin brushes i'm not gonna wash my face now but when i do use it then i'll put in a clip of me using it and like what it's like hey guys so this is the radiant spin care system by duval so i just want to talk about it real quick it comes with two facial heads so this one is the exfoliating head and this one is the daily facial cleanser the daily facial cleanser just gets rid of all your dead skin and like it just like washes your face and cleans out your pores and the exfoliating brush does the same thing it's just more like intense i guess and it just like cleans your pores even more and then and it also comes with the big body brush which i guess you could use this on your face too if you want but like it's really big so i don't see why you would but again it just like cleans your body and like gets rid of all the dead skin like more than just like what your hands would do so like really cleans yourself you know and then it also comes with a pumice stone which is for your feet so like if you have a lot of like thick skin on your feet and you use this and it's gonna make it smoother and softer the actual handle itself is also wireless which is really convenient so i don't need to like stand right next to the outlet it's also water resistant so you can like wash the brushes easily without needing to take it off and you can also use it in the shower i don't know why the camera looks so orange so i just wet it first and then put on my face wash just on top so my face is a little red because i used the exfoliating brush but like already my face feels way smoother i didn't take off my mascara but like like instead of just washing my face with my hands which is what i do sometimes when i'm lazy this actually like cleans my skin and i also forgot to mention um if you guys want 70 percent off your order then you can just use the code johnsu up on the screen right now um and you get 70 percent off your order the link is in the description onto the video why is this so I live in Canada. Isn't it supposed to be cold? <laughs> what is this? It's a little messy, so don't mind that. This is my vanity thing. It's right next to my bed, but this is the moisturizer that I use. I use it not every single day, but like most of the time. I haven't used this in so long. Half of it, not gonna lie, is just water. Like I refilled it. And then I have makeup brushes. I don't really use makeup brushes. I only really use these two, and this one's for the powder, and then this one's for my concealer. And then you open it up, and then there's a mirror, and then all my shit. So the first thing are my powders, or like the setting powders, and I mix these two, and I use that on top of my concealer. This is the, the Match Perfection face powder it's like a loose powder and then i take this the maybelline fit me powder and then i kind of grape it into the lid of this powder and i mix it i don't know if that makes sense because this is kind of dark and this is kind of light and then i have this dry ass beauty blender that i haven't used in so long then i have a bunch of q-tips in case i mess up like with mascara going on my eyelid or anything and then i have highlighters well this isn't highlighter this is like bronzer or something it says lighting bronzer i don't really know but it's really pretty i use this on my cheekbones as if it was highlighter for my semi-formal i don't know if it looked bad but to me it didn't really look bad and then this is actual highlighter oh wait by the way this is hourglass and this is this milani highlighter i haven't used it in a long time and then i have all my other stuff over here first i have 
this milk what is this i forgot what this is cooling stick i think i don't know i haven't used it in a really long time and then i have a random spoolie to brush out my eyelashes in case they're a little clumped up and then an eyelash curler which i don't really curl my eyelashes anymore i used to like every single day in like grade seven but i don't do that anymore over there i have concealer eyebrow stuff mascara and then other random stuff i'm just gonna pull everything out and then show you here because that little space is a hello small i can't show all that i don't use all these but these are just the ones that i have this is the one i have on right now it's the nyx what is it studio photogenic concealer and then i have two of the maybelline fit me concealers in 20 and i think this is 15 yeah 15 okay i clearly haven't used this in a long time but it's the revlon color stay concealer and then i have the ilia true skin serum concealer this I really like the formula like it looks really natural on me but the color just doesn't really match my face as much right now because of summer and then for my brows this is just a brow gel this is the eyebrow pencil that I use on my eyebrows it's the Maybelline Total Temptation eyebrow pencil and then I have this benefit brow pencil but it's like almost done and I don't want to finish it but I just use the spoolie as you can see it's a lot longer than that i don't like that and then for my mascara this is really hyped up on tiktok honestly i don't really see a difference for me like from all these other ones maybe it's because i'm using it wrong or something but i don't really think it's that special i didn't even say what it's called it's the l'oreal telescopic mascara the l'oreal lash paradise mascara and it's kind of chunky i don't know why i said it like that and this is the tarte lights camera lashes mascara not gonna lie this smudges a lot which is why i don't really like it but it does make my lashes look longer this is the mascara i use every day which is the l'oreal double extend as you can see a lot of l'oreal but and i like this because it doesn't smudge at all and it comes off really easily and it's not messy and then i don't really think i need to pull all this out but this is the elf Lear eyebrow and eyelash gel some random eyeliner i don't use eyeliner so i don't really know this is also skincare but it's the cerave eye repair cream honestly i don't really see a difference with this either maybe i'm using these products wrong but to me they're all kind of the same and then i have this lip gloss but i don't really use lip gloss i don't know why the lighting looks like this over here i have my extra makeup or like the makeup that i don't really use at all but it's just sitting there just in case i change my mind and i want to use it oh my god i forgot about this okay i forgot i had this but it's the elf I don't even know, but it's the eyebrow shit for your, your eyebrows. And I haven't used this in so long. There's literally dust on top of it. That's disgusting. And then I have a bunch of mascaras. I don't, I, like, why am I keeping this? I have four in total of the same mascara. I haven't used this in a long time. It's the Marcel Fortifying and Lengthening Mascara. And the last time I used this, it made my eyelashes look really long. Then I have this cheap ass elf mascara i accidentally got it on my finger and it just feels like paint to be honest then i have this fat ass mascara it's the wonder lash mascara with argan oil not even gonna lie i don't know if it's good like i just have it and then i have two of these revlon mascaras they both say grow luscious on it i honestly don't know and then i have two eyebrow pencils i have the revlon color stay brow pencil and then i have this elf eyebrow pencil which i actually liked this for a while but i kind of don't really like it I literally bought this because it was on sale, it was like $5, and it's like two years old, I think, or like a year old. I don't know why I bought that, I really don't know why. This is the first and only thing I've ever ordered online from Sephora. I used it for a bit in like 2018, and then I have this e.l.f. color correcting stick, which I don't even know if it's good, and then I have the Ilia concealer again, love this concealer, just not my shade. Milani touch and erase concealer. I don't think I've ever used that and then again with the fit me concealer I have a bunch of beauty blenders then I just have like other random junk which is basically garbage i don't know why i have it time for my small skincare collection this is my favorite face mask 
it's the glam glow super mud clearing treatment it kind of like burns my face a little not like like tingling but it's really good in my opinion because it actually makes my face feel smooth after and then i have this origins clear improvement charcoal mask i feel like this is more gentle compared to the other one i stopped filming i don't know why but i have the neutrogena makeup wipes I have two face mask samples from the body shop. I don't know why I haven't used them. That is mold. But I have the don't look at me mask from Lush, like the sample, but it's moldy. There's literal mold. So I guess that's the end of my video. Not gonna lie, it was a little all over the place because I have so much junk. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up up and we're on the road to 9k so if you want go subscribe to my channel below uh if you want go follow my instagram so yeah bye